Hello YouTube, Pretty Butterfly and I am back. I have a super small haul and it's from the Food Line store in my area. Um, they had some deals going on and just a few items that I wanted to pick up. So I'm going to go ahead and get into this haul and show you what I got. But before I do, I want to tell everybody thank you for subscribing to my channel. And since you're already here looking and listening, go ahead and hit that thumbs up. Or hit a comment below and I want to thank all my new subscribers for tuning in go ahead and hit that notification bell if you hadn't already done so so you will be notified when I do post a new video um, I'm working on trying to get more content and of course I'm still working on trying to eventually learn how to use the camera stand I also want to let you know I will be having a giveaway soon I'm um, working on my subscribers um, come a long way. I was like at 288 and now I'm at 1200 but I had like 1400 before they did a purge several months ago and I lost a lot of subscribers and knocked me down to 200 and something from 1400 so thank everybody for tuning back in and new subscribers for coming in and joining the family and you get to pay attention and watch. Um, I do different hauls with children, um, shopping. I do um, trips. When I go on a trip, I record it. I blog it. Um, I do thrifting hauls. I do Dollar Tree hauls. I just do a little bit of everything that I think people might want to see that I think is interesting. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and get into this haul and show you what I got. First off. They had this Pop Secret. This is Pop Secret right here. And it's movie theater. And you get 12 snack size bags in here. And there you are if you want to see the, the trans fed and 100% whole grain. So, and it is, this is microwavable popcorn. It's movie theater butter. And um, you get 12 packs. And I got two of them because they had a special going on a BOGO where you can buy one and get one so I got this one and I got that one and I know they both look like they're shaped different but it was um 440 I think it's 449 so you bought one and you got one free so I got that Patrick ran around and found some more popcorn seasoning and we have these um this is the kernel seasoning this is white cheddar popcorn seasoning and this is made with real cheese and it's 2.85 i think this was a dollar 79 for this one but i'm not really sure when we was in the store and he was just putting stuff in the buggy next thing we grabbed was he wanted let me move these out the way he wanted um, Coconut Supreme. And this is Duncan Hines Signature. And this is Coconut Sup Sup Supreme. And this is a 15.25 ounce box. 180 calories. Um, he likes coconut. I'm not a huge fan of it. But I could eat just about any kind of cake. He's very choicy on what he eats. But yes, this is... The ingredients showing you how you make it so and these were on sale for a dollar a box so if you need to go ahead and stock up you know holidays is coming up 4th of july birthdays people still graduating and make a cake good deal right now and then he picked up this is the whipped frosting and this is duncan hine and it is fluffy white and this is a large container. This is 14 ounces. So he did pick this up. And this was on sale for a dollar and fifty cent. They had it two for three. Next thing I picked up was two of these. You can see this one's already open. We had this for dinner last night. My brother was telling me about this. This is what his wife buys. So I picked up two of them. And it's the home taste. In minutes, Idaho. And this is applewood smoked bacon mashed potatoes, and it's made with real cheese. This is so so good. And how many ounces? This is four ounces. 
and it's super super good if you want to see how you make it there you can do it on the stove or do it in the microwave i did mine in the microwave this is too much heating up your house when you could just boil water two cups of water i actually put a little bit more water because it was drier than i like and um some butter and boil it and then you just dump your potatoes in add you some salt and pepper so if you haven't tried these and i hadn't until he told me his wife buys them he said if you get these you always want them so i truly truly enjoyed them last night and i basically ate most of it myself food line carried these a long time ago and then somehow or another they stopped carrying them like last year but i noticed they were back in the store and these are called potato toppings this is a quick dry seasoning and i use these to sprinkle on top of my baked potatoes this is 0.75 ounces and it does not include bacon or cheese um, i sprinkle this on top of it it's just a seasoning and it makes the, everything taste really really good so I just sprinkle it on top of my potato. You see what's in it? But I guess you can preheat the oven and wash and dry your potatoes and say showing you how you do it. I just sprinkle it on the potato after it's done. After I put salt and pepper and butter, sour cream, whatever you want to put on it, cheese. I just sprinkle it on the top as a seasoning. Super, super yummy. If you hadn't tried these, try them. You're not going to find them on the season aisle. These are at the front next to the produce, like where they have the lettuce and stuff is. It's a little rack that sits in the middle of the floor, like a little wooden stand or metal stand. Not sure what your store would have it on, but it's where they have the little smoothie mixes and stuff at, but it's next to the produce section. So I got that. And I got these. Food line tortilla chips, 100% corn, salsa style. Oh yeah, this was 99 cent, and the potatoes was a dollar 19. If I didn't mention it, but this back to this restaurant style. And let's see how big this is. This is 12 ounces. I picked up this right here, and I think this was 99 cent. So I went ahead and picked up one bag of those. Um, and the reason I picked these up, I have been craving guacamole. I have never ate it before. But Patrick got me some guacamole um, by accident at Taco Bell the other day when he got me the Taco Bell box. And um, it's the nacho, grand nacho box. And he asked for no guac on it. But they did put guac on it when he got it home. So I said, let me go ahead and try it. So I took one of the chips off the nachos and scooped it up. Surprisingly, evidently my taste buds have changed. And I did like it, so I wanted to get some guacamole at the store. The guacamole at Food Line was rather expensive. It was like $3.49 for um, a small one. So let me get it out of my refrigerator and show it to you. Hold on one second. So this is the, um, it's called Good Foods. And it's table side chunky guacamole. No artificial ingredients, no added sugars, no GMOs. And this is what it looks like right here. Let me show you the container. It's thick. Um, we did open it and try it. Um, I think it needed salt, but I was very pleased with it. I really did like it. I'm trying to see if I can open it and show it to you. I'm gonna pull the top off here. There, I'm using one hand, y'all. I'm sorry. Okay. But I open it. Let me find my little lid. I said, open it and I tried it. And this is what it looks like close up. But it's very good. Trust me, it do need salt. Some people might like pepper in it too, but I didn't put pepper, but I thought it needed the salt. And when you open it, just keep your little film on it. Don't pull it all the way off so it won't become slimy or whatever. You can keep the protective coat over it and then put your lid back on it. But yes. And look, I'm enjoying guacamole right now. So that's kind of weird and strange all at the same time. Never liked it. But anyway, this is what I actually picked up at my food line store. And I hope you all enjoyed my video. Go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Thumbs up. Share it with your friends and family. Comment below. And as always, I thank everybody for watching. And you have a blessed day.